In every generation, there arises men whose anointing and celestial calling can preserve whole nations, whose words can command your global events, whose vision spans across time and space, and whose very mystery carries the dispensations of heaven. Prophet Andrew Duco's prophecies have continued to authoritatively prove the reality of the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, behold, I send you prophets, wise men, and scribes. Sunday, 6 January 2019. Then I saw an international figure whose name I don't want to mention. Um, but uh, this figure uh, in, in, from the US, um, this lady um, who was disappointed, um, I saw dust rising around her. And then I had a figure, 145 million. 145 million, something like that. The lady who was disappointed refers to the former presidential candidate, Hillary Rodham Clinton. She was disappointed when she lost the 2016 presidential election as Donald J. Trump went on to become the 45th president of the United States. However, in this 2019 prophecy, Prophet Andrew Duke look known to the past but to the future before I saw dust rising around Hillary Clinton. Four years later, this prophecy came to pass with stunning accuracy. In February 2022, Special Counsel John Durham began to implicate Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign over illegally spying on a fellow presidential candidate. The probe continues to uncover a lot of dust with that. On 30th March 2022, the dust rising around Hillary Clinton even more when the Federal Election Commission of the United States confirmed illegal practices by the 2016 Hillary Clinton campaign. The FEC went ahead to find Hillary Clinton and her party the Democratic National Committee over electoral malpractice. This fulfilled specific parts of the prophecy by man of God, Prophet Andrew Jiko, which forward saw dust rising around Hillary Clinton, pointing to a scandal or discovery of negative information around her. This is the kind of information that strongly harms the credibility of someone and damages their reputation, who in this case is Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton and the Democratic National Committee are being fined by the Federal Election Commission for a combined $113,000 for not disclosing the money Hillary's 2016 campaign spent on the Steele dossier. Former President Trump reacted to the news last night slamming what he calls the hoax against him and his presidency saying uh, th this corruption is only beginning to be revealed, is un-American and must never be allowed to happen again. Where do I go to get my reputation back? And here with more, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Uh, Tom, to you, I would say, only just now being revealed uh, to large portions of the... Cash Patel is a former national security advisor to the House Intel Committee. He joins us tonight to sort out what the second part of this story means. Cash Patel, thanks so much for coming on tonight. So how should we understand this fine of the Hillary Clinton campaign? Uh, thanks, Tucker. So the main thing to take away is that the Hillary Clinton campaign broke federal law. That's why they levied this fine. When I was leading the Russiagate investigation, we had to get a subpoena from Congress to get the bank records to show that the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Dems paid for the Steele dossier. And three years later, the FEC finally woke up and said, yes, that's illegal and we need to find them. Had any other campaign done it, they would have fined them to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. But I'll take this at the start. But the biggest takeaway is the Hillary Clinton campaign broke federal law by taking political contributions and paying a foreign asset to gin up dirty Russian information that was fake that they funneled into the FBI to falsely surveil uh, President Trump uh, under illegal warrants issued by the federal uh, surveillance court. Welcome back. So is it accountability? The Federal Election Commission is now fining Hillary Clinton and the Democrat National Committee over the way it paid a firm to produce the notorious Steele dossier. The Clinton campaign has been fined $8,000 and the DNC slapped with a $105,000 penalty after a 2016 letter revealed that they violated campaign <coughs> finance rules. The FEC says both parties failed to properly report payments for opposition research and the production of the dossier, instead labeling the payments legal services. Former President Trump now asking, where do I get my reputation? In the jaw-dropping prophecy, Prophet Andrew Jiko mentions a sum of money, $145 million. 
which is symbolic for the fines that Hillary Clinton has been slapped with by the FEC. The symbolic 145 million also points to the cost in fresh 2022 legal suits by President Donald Trump against Hillary Clinton and her allies. It is greatly shocking that FEC's implication on the 2016 Hillary campaign is also over about misreporting of 1 million US dollars used to pay for the spying of the Trump campaign. These are the prophetic symbols at work. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions. I have given symbols to the meanings of the prophets. Then I saw an international figure whose name I don't want to mention. Um, but uh, this figure uh, in, in, from the US, um, this lady um, who was disappointed, um, I saw dust rising around her, and then I had a figure 145 million. 145 million, something like that. Prophet Andrew Duco, a true prophet of God Almighty, has a line prospered and preserved nations through his distinct, indisputable prophetic anointing. With his every growing record of stunningly accurate prophetic fulfillment, many are being blessed. For that, he is counted worthy of distinct honor. 